Yo, what's going on boys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to drastically lower your ping, your input delay in Chapter 5 Fortnite. But before the video gets started, 98% of you guys are not subbed to the channel and that's actually outrageous. So if y'all can please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for all my recent or all my newer videos. What am I talking about? And I'm also live on Twitch every single night, twitch.tv slash trainu, which is also going to be like the first link in the description and let's get into the video so one of the first steps i want you guys to do is to go to your search bar type in device manager double click that full screen it because we, we're on here click network and adapters and you guys see where it says ethernet connection right click on that y'all should be using the ethernet cable so if you don't have an ethernet cable this 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 isn't for you but it's for people who use ethernet cables which what you should always be using go to properties Go to advanced and go make sure enable PME is disabled and then you want to scroll all the way down because there's these last five that need to be uh wait for link put auto detect wake wake from 50 I don't know what that says but wake put that as disabled wake on link disabled wake on magic disabled and wake on pattern disabled so this is the first step and then we're gonna go to the Epic Launcher settings, which is, I spam this. Now that we're on my desktop again, open up the Epic Games Launcher, go to library, hit the three dots for your game, options, copy to what everything I have, which I have Fortnite Core Battle Royale, and then I have pre-streamed assets. The only things that are checked, everything else should be unchecked. Click apply, we're not done yet. Go to your little profile picture, go to settings, preferences, these three should only be the things that you have uh, enabled, which is enable offline mode browsing, minimize system tray, and enable cloud services. Everything else should be disabled. These are my desktop notifications. This is preference, like it's up to you. Um, for managed game, put auto update recently used apps and then allow install, put that, uh, put, disable this because you don't want your game updating mid, like mid, like while you're in the game. So yeah go out and then we got to go to gear booster so as of right now we're on my desktop and there is a app that i want you guys to get and this is not the only app that's good for this it's gear booster and it's also exit lag i'm gonna put exit lag also in the description as well but gear booster is what i use because it just works the best for me i'm gonna open this up and yes you do gotta pay but if you if this is something if fortnite is something that you like heavily play it's a good investment it's literally only ten dollars a month that's literally it um, and you just boot, you basically boost your game. So once you boost your game, I'm gonna hit hit y'all up when I'm back in Fortnite. Okay, so as y'all can see from my ping in the upper right, I literally made my HUD go super big so y'all can see. Um, my ping's around like 20, well, 16, 25, 16 to 25 is my ping now. I normally play like 50, 50 to like 40 to 50 ping, and from that to 20 ping. That, that that that's ridiculous that like this actually works like i recommend this for anyone who either plays comp plays rank or plays fortnite in like a competitive any competitive way i recommend gear booster because it it actually it actually works and a lot of pro players also use this so it's actually it's legal like you're not gonna get banned for using this like it's not no like a macro or nothing it just it helps you it just helps with your uh picks the server i don't know how it works i'm not gonna act like i know how it works but I know I boost my game, I come on Fortnite, my ping is 22. It's way better than playing on that 40 to 50 ping. Um, also, exit lag also works just as good as this, but I just prefer this because it's more simpler, like it's simple to use. Exit lag's a little, like I was struggling with it a little bit with my ping, but probably because I didn't have the right settings. But Gear Booster, it automatically puts the settings on what I needed to do, so I just keep it on this. And also make sure you guys don't skip the other steps that I put in the beginning of the video because those steps are also very, 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 very important. And thank you guys so much if you guys made it to the end of the video. Like I said in the beginning, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, support the channel because 98% of you guys aren't subbed. I'm also live on Twitch every single night, twitch.tv slash trainu. That's the first link in the description. And leave down in the comment section down below on what kind of videos y'all want me to drop late like in the future about ping and or delay or controller settings i don't care what it is i'll make a video on it um and uh peace out hopefully you guys enjoyed